As you can see in the upper right corner, I've only got 36 minutes left to play Look Alive. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a new and upcoming zombie survival game with vehicles and a big old base that you can explore and weapons and ammo and all sorts of tricks and treats for you to enjoy as you try to survive a zombie apocalypse. It's good to see you all back. We don't have a lot of time to get into this one before the Steam Next event is over, so let's jump in real quick and make sure you go ahead and subscribe after turning on that notification bell and smashing that like button too. Thanks again for all your awesome support and for being here. We're going to grab ourselves a character here. We'll pick this person and a cool backpack before we start our journey. Looks like we also have a few skill points to choose too, so let's go with uh, maybe a little extra health points and a little extra endurance there to increase our carry capacity and our health. All right. Looks like there's plenty of skill points. Let's begin. In a world infested with the walking dead, somewhere in the United States of America, it had been a few months since Robert and I found refuge in an old medical laboratory. That day, right after another attack by the walking dead, Robert urged me to follow him into his lab. As he was standing, uh, as he was handing me a notebook, I saw a bite on his shoulder. With a stern look, he asked me to bring the notes to his friend and colleague, the Professor Martin in Washington, D.C. We didn't know if he was still alive, but with this information, he could find an antidote and save humanity. Robert grabbed his gun and begged me to leave him alone. I gathered some stuff to survive for part of the trip. I was alone and exhausted, but I had to leave as fast as I could. I was so tired. Oh wow, we crashed. Well, that's bad times. Whew. Hey, do we have some good load screen tips? There you go. Too many things to carry? Think about using the trunk of your car. Yeah. Driving a car is going to be quite important in this one. Don't forget to rest, because if you're too tired, you'll no longer be able to attack your enemies. Wow, that's great. Real great. Great. Oh, this is nice. Go to Washington, D.C. Still alive and no bite. I need to find out where I am and how I got here. You must take care of your vital needs. There are three different types of weapons, melee, firearms, and explosives. Find them as you explore the world and trade with the merchants in the camp. Ooh. Hello, sir. Ah, there you go. You're finally awake. Luckily for you, we found you before you got eaten. We also managed to get your car back in shape. So, you want to go to Washington? The road is now impassable. The only way to go east is across the river. Go see Glenn. He's he often goes to the other side to trade with other communities. He's not very friendly. You'll have to get his trust. In these times, you'll get much more from people by earning their trust. All you have to do is do us favors and bring resources to the camp. Uh, meet Glenn across the river. Okay, so this must be... Yeah, we're in a giant military camp here or at least a survivor camp looks like some of these people are selling goods or west's question mark oh yeah hello our stocks of drugs are decreasing day by day but i know where to find a lot i'm scared to go will you go and get some for us there's a pharmacy in the nursing home where i worked you need this key i'll indicate the location of the establishment on your map got it pills dealer enter the pharmacy and collect the pills got it hello sir i lost my wife after 40 years of true happiness i failed to protect martha at least I saved her soul. All I have left today are my souvenirs, but her face is slowly fading from my memory. In our house, there is a portrait of my wife on a buffet. Do you consent to find the photo? Outside has become far too dangerous for an old man like me. Uh, of course. I'm moving quick, because we got to go quick for this demo. And also, um, well, we're losing daylight as we're here longer. Uh, you look reckless. Your help would be invaluable. The road leading to an allied camp is blocked by a landslide. Do you want to help us? Here's an explosive charge to clear the passage. Come back and see me when it's done. This is homemade. Be careful. Great, we have a homemade bomb. How wonderful. Oh, wow. Somebody walking around with a gun right here in front of me. And it looks like we've got... Uh, what is this lightning bolt? A tool merchant. Oh, is this a lockpick? Yep. You can only buy one and cannot be resold or transferred outside your inventory. Limited lifespan. Oh. Well, we have 12 bullets. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the currency. We have to trade things with bullets. Okay, I'll take that. If we're going into town, I want to be able to get into every building... Looks like we got a cool, a lot of cool guns here. We got a uh, rifle with a silencer, revolver with silencer, shotguns, rifles, machetes, <laughs> remote bomb, hand flares, RPGs, grenades. Dude, and this must be the uh, vehicle dealer here. Dude, I want to get... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have our car. Oh, wow. We can actually put <laughs> a rocket launcher on our car. We can repair the car. We can paint the car for free, maybe? Choose a new color for your vehicle. Uh, I guess we can do this for free. Let's paint it. Uh, yellow's fine. I'll be able to see it that way. Oh, dude, we get a melee thing on the front of it? Dude, that's so cool. All right, well, we'll need more trust and uh, 
supplies to do that. You can travel by car. Each car has its own inventory. Uh, if it's in good condition, it's faster and safer. Mechanic can upgrade, and you can refuel with gas cans. All right, all makes sense. <laughs> Goodbye, camp. All right, so... Oh, yeah, we should figure out where we're going. Uh, so we've got ourselves water, lock picks, crowbar. Oh, I want to equip that. I don't want to shoot because, obviously, well, one, we don't have bullets. And two, that's literally our money. Map and quest. Chapter one, main story and side quest. We have to meet Glenn over here, I assume, with the diamond. Uh, this is probably the roadworks one where the landslide is blocking the path because it's literally on the road. And the pharmacy and the old guy's house are down there. All right, let's get ready to do this. Ooh, I see mushrooms. Can we actually grab these? These might actually give us money if we go back to the camp. Oh, yeah, okay. So we can find anything out in the world and trade it with people. Even if we buy, like get extra food and stuff, we can always sell that, too. Okay, let's walk up to the landslide, question mark. I was attacking in this game. Wait, I don't even have my crowbar selected. Oh, there we go. You have to press 1. Looks like you can also play this with an Xbox controller. Wow, the, the attack range is a little weird, but okay, I got it. All right, our first kill. Let's plant those explosives. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Nice. All right, Roadworks, inform the camp leader. Well, not necessarily the camp leader, just whoever gave us the quest. Is there anything in this truck? I don't remember checking it. Okay. All right, so job done. We have successfully completed our first quest. Let's go back into town. And see if there's anything else we can buy that's useful. I like how they're shooting at the zombies coming in. There's actually two people in the guard towers. Constant shots like that. Okay, so what are we doing for daylight? It's, al it's almost nighttime. I'm assuming the zombies probably get faster and more deadly if we go into the town and if it's like nighttime. And let yep, the sun's already going down. Oh, we're taking damage. From what? Wait, my thirst isn't even zero. Oh, come on. It's one of those games where it's like, oh... You have, like, it's just like saying, oh, you have $50 remaining out of 100 Oh, that's basically $0. Come on. You're trustworthy. Come back later. I'll probably still need you. Hey, cool. We got another bottle of water, 50 trust, and buckshot. Ammo for the shotgun. Only the first one. Wait, what? Storage 2, only the first one. What? What does that mean? Oh, you have another quest for me? Uh, I have another mission for you. Deliver supplies to the entrance of the West Tunnel for another allied camp in need. You'll find a truck full of food at the hangar at the freight station. I'm warning my friends over the radio so they'll be waiting for you at the meeting point. But hurry up. They won't stay in the open for long. Okay. Well, I guess we can go any time. So, the tunnel here. To deliver supplies. Alright, that's cool. So, we probably have to also do driving missions as well where we get different vehicles, not just our only, our only car. Can I trade Buckshot with you? I don't really have a lot of time to... Probably buy a shotgun. How much would that be? Uh, let's see. Shotgun, 28. We have zero. Um, I think if we just run from stuff, I think we'll be good. I want money, though. Oh, dude, we get two per? Oh, yeah. I know it sounds crazy. I know I know. I seem like a madman right now, but... Oh, we get four per mushroom. Damn. All right, we already earned 64. Nice. Okay, we better keep this because we're probably going to need money to do something else. It's almost nighttime. What else can we do? Oh, we should probably go buy food and water then. That's going to be important because I'm pretty much out now. So I know there was the food guy over here. And we still have the other quest to do for the pharmacy and for that man's wife. What do we have for medical stuff? Curative drugs, medical kit. Ooh, that's 30. Um, adrenaline, small med kit. Restore 50% of health points. I guess the best way to not get damaged is, you know, just don't, don't take damage. That's all you got to do. Buy two water, two food, and let's see. Oh, now we have three water. Good. Um, yeah, we'll probably need water more. Okay, well, it's almost nighttime. I kind of want to, like, rest here to push time forward. Looks like in the upper left corner, it looks like food is displayed by the knife and fork, water, and then sleep. But it's almost nighttime, and I don't want to go out there at night. Can we, like, sleep now? Do you want to rest? Yes. I wonder if that also lowers our hunger and water. Apparently not, but it does restore our health. Good. And now it's the start of the next day. That was a good choice. Okay, we should go and do this truck thing. Also, we need to talk with Glenn. So that's two in the same area. All right, so we're supposed to be able to find gasoline out here, too. 
Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we should take the road. This terrain looks awfully rough. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. All right, let's go over this way. Okay. Jeez, what are these, like, old Soviet cars from the 60s? Oh, God. It's going to be hard as hell to see and drive in this. I can't change my camera, and this car is really slow. All right, note to self, do not go off-roading. There is this overturned semi-truck, though. Let's park here. And let's see if there's anything in the semi. And then we'll go inside. Oh, hey man, brother. We got some sodas in there. Okay. All right. Can we leave anything behind? Um, uh, I think we could... Well, we better bring everything with us. This quest is going to bring us away from this place. So we'll abandon our car. It's easy to jump back to. All right, are you all the people who are here to meet me? Oh, no, you're zombies. You want to eat my face. Okay. From meet me to eat me. Wonderful. Uh, interact to pick with a lockpick. Oh, wow, lockpick takes forever. Okay, there it goes. Okay, the people we're supposed to meet are up there. Lockpick has some durability to it. Wow, everybody's coming over. How awesome. Oh. Wait, we can just go in the building? Shelter to rest. Inside buildings you can find bents to rest, but the place must be secured, indicated by a shield icon. To do this, uh, close the exit doors or block a gap by pushing something in front of it. Oh. So we can take shelter here so long as we clear out the zombies and then block the door? Okay, that makes sense. Wow, there's a lot of zombies here. Is there anything valuable? Wow. I have a ranged weapon, yet he was able to reach out and get me? That's that's a scam. Okay, nothing there. Well, I was assuming that the zombies couldn't come down the stairs, but I was wrong. Can they open doors? Ooh. Duct tape? A lot of crafting material here. Oh, good. Zombies can't get through the doors. Now they went back upstairs to sleep. Good. Oh, we can turn... Okay, we can turn our camera in here. Nice. Okay, there's lots of good stuff that could be in here. Also, lots of chances to die. Also, there's that little water container there. Here, come this way, guys. Oh, actually, let's check the uh, the room here. What was that? Bullet of what? Bullet for rifle. Oh, okay. Okay, we got lockers here. Could find a new gun if we're lucky. Maybe somebody has a, a gun on them. Did I miss anything in here? Oh, that's very rude, sir. What the f There should be a dodge. Because their range is further than mine. That's crazy. They can, like, lean forward and get you with that, like, giga reach. But yet, meanwhile, <laughs> my crowbar doesn't really, doesn't really do what I wish it did. Got to be something up here. Come on, give me something good. Ooh, playing cards. Okay, we might be able to sell that for a lot of money. Oh, no. We're, like, over-encumbered. Oh, no. Is there a small thing of food we can eat? Yep. Okay, so we're definitely going to need to use that car. Okay, well, now I already want to go back to town and sell stuff. Wow, and I got the uh, the upgrade, too, for this stuff. All right, well, it's cool. There's, like, custom buildings that we can go and explore. I like that. Okay, let's go find this crew and start this mission. They're up here. Unfortunately, if I put stuff back in the yellow car, we're going to have to go back to the car, but this quest is going to require us to leave. Uh, fast delivery service. Take the truck to the west tunnel. Yep. Eh, if there's anything else, we won't be able to carry it. <laughs> Out of the way, nerds! Alright, so where's the west tunnel? Uh, wait. Oh, it's... Is it down here? Oh, good. We're gonna go into the town anyway. Oh, great. Anything we find will be over encumbered. Wonderful. Well... I guess that is what it is. We'll have to walk all the way back to the car. There's no way around it, I guess. Let's move, people. Can I get through that gate? I hope so. Oh, good. All right. Let's leave some stuff at the car. Let's see. We'll leave our money there. We'll come back here before we, before we go. Oh, wait a minute. The vehicle can only hold 12 of anything? Oh, so we can't... Wait, is there a way to split stacks? 
There's got to be a way to split, right? Can I, like, click and drag? Wow. Okay, I don't know if there's a way to split inventories. We'll leave everything here that doesn't seem so valuable. So does we'll leave... Uh, food, water seems important, and I can't split the stack, so... But I'm not going to use handgun ammo, because that's our money, so... Alright, let's go, uh, wherever. How are we doing on sleep? Okay, we're good. Alright, let's follow the road. Hopefully no one robs us. Okay. Oh, wait, we can talk with Glenn. We know Glenn is down here. Ooh, that's a steep... That's a steep hill. I don't know if the truck can get back up there if I come down here. Anything in the dumpster? Oh, dude, you can actually... Oh, there's food. You can actually cut through the fence with the uh, wire cutters, it looks like. That's cool. So there might be areas we can't get to. Why is it so dark? Although, oh, my God. Whoa, that darkness, though. Hey, a jerry can. All right, so we can fill up the car. Uh, quest failed. Do you want to try again? What? What? You're able to retry the quest now. Oh, wait, was it a timed quest? Wait, yes. Wait, what? No. I mean, he did... To be fair, he did say hurry, but also... I didn't know? Are, are we? Were we supposed to get there before nighttime? Okay. Uh, was there an indicator on the screen at all about that? Well, actually, this is a good thing. Now we're back here at camp, so now we can sell some stuff. Oh, yeah, we got our... Yeah, cool, we can actually buy some new stuff. Hold on, do we have anything to sell? Eh, not really. Wow, okay. So we have to get... We'd have to walk all the way back to the car again. Well, that's... That's a shame. We're not even tired. Well, we could go outside. So do I have... Okay, so we have to activate this quest again. I got a little carried away with looking for stuff, but that does get us more money. Let's activate this quest again. So I guess we have to go there before the end of the day? Deliver supplies, okay. Find the truck hidden in the hangar. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about, uh... doesn't say anything about, like, a time limit, though. I mean, he does imply, but, you know, I've, you've all played a mission before in a game where they tell you to hurry, and then you can take all the time you want. Oh, get wrecked, zombies. This is completely dark. Alright, so I guess it's a speed thing. I got distracted. But also, two birds with one stone. We could have completed that mission and also went and chatted with Glenn. Is there a hole in the wall here? Oh, nice. Shortcut. Okay, well, now that we know where we're going, unfortunately, we don't have a flashlight. But the truck definitely does. With its big old headlights. Hey, man, brother. There we go. Now we're trucking. All right. Now, where's the way out of here? Back the other way? Okay. Oh, yeah, upper left corner. I see a time, finally. It says two. Two what? Two hours? Two days? Two minutes? Truck is so slow. Well, I guess we're just going to have to run through the zombies because we don't really have a choice. Okay, so we just got to follow this road. Whoa, whoa, oh no. Man. I'll, I'll tell you what. Any sort of lag in these types of games are the reason why I always crash. I remember the old driver game. And some of you might remember the old parking lot, or the the uh, the parking garage mission from Driver. And man, that was a hell of a game. So there's the timer on the left side. So where's this tunnel? We want to take a left and then just follow the curved road. Yeah, that was a quick stop. Good. Come on, baby. Yeah, there was some lag back there, so that made me plow into that earlier tree. The second one was tactical. I guess. Out of the way, zombies. Residential neighborhood. Are we going the right way? God, I hope so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hey, a taxi. Hey, it's daytime. Hey, we made it. Or not. 
Sorry, I drove the truck a little too far out of this circle. Oh, you saved our lives. Our community owes you a lot. Cool. Quest completed, finally. Alright, well, we earned a bunch of trust now. So I'm assuming for this demo, we have to go and chat with, uh, with Glenn and probably get something that he wants. And if it's anything like the uh, rest of this game... Let's see, inventory. Let's drink this real quick. There we go. So if it's anything like the rest of this game, we probably have to go and, uh... Well, now we're here at the town. We probably have to give Glenn money. All the bullets. Oh, this must be the nursing home. Judging by the parking lot, yep. Oh! What? Oh, we can take other cars. Hell yeah. Now wait, can we get out through here? Vehicle condition, press interact to use. Well, I'm in a... Oh my god, this car is so slow, dude. I can't even see the, uh... Press interact to use. Wait, what happened? Wait, am I low on health? No, we're good. Okay, well now the press interact to use is stuck on the screen, so I don't know what the condition or fuel is of the car. Anyway, we have a key now to get to the pharmacy, so let's do that. Oh, great. We gotta go inside again. Oh, no. Lockpick. Wait! I thought he said he gave us a key. What the hell? Well, maybe that was just a key to actually get, like, into the pharmacy office, not the actual building. <laughs> wow! What a scam! Oh, great. Uh... Yeah, let's just find the pharmacy and get the hell out of here. Although there could always be ammo. Okay, where could the pharmacy be? Okay, there's an elevator. That probably leads outside? I don't see... A room that looks like a pharmacy. Maybe here? Okay, let's look around a little bit. Now, these are just basically rooms with restrooms in them. Oh, well, they could actually break down the door? No, they're not that smart. So their AI pathing can only can only move when they see the door open. Dude, there's like a quick second of lag while the game calculates whether or not you were hit. That range is BS. Like it's not even worth attacking them. Just run away. Ah, there's a stairs. I did not think we could go upstairs. Good. Okay, now we're upstairs. Janitor's closet. This has got to be it right here. Yep. Ah, good. Quest item. Alright, job done. We can leave now. Well, we're over encumbered and we don't really have a good car, so let's just leave now. Wait a minute. Is our game glitched? None of our hunger or thirst or anything went down. So, by failing that mission, we have become invincible. At least in terms of hunger and... Oh, what was that? That looked valuable. Must be other types of rounds. We're 24 out of 24, though. Alright, I would eat all this food, but at any moment, the game could update... <laughs> At any moment, the game could update and uh, put our health and stuff back. But anyway, whoa, like being over encumbered in this game is a big pain. We'd have to make multiple trips. So to do this right, it, we probably want to like park the car outside and come back and forth a few times and load up the trunk with whatever we can. But we'll just do this for the quests. Yeah, so it seems like it'd be a good idea to park in front of all these buildings, load up a truck or a van or something that you can find, like an SUV, and then try to uh, get back to the base. We got jerry cans, nice. Oh great, now we're over encumbered. Well, we can fill up the car though. Even being over encumbered, we're faster than the zombies. 
They all seem to come at you no matter how far you are from them, though. Once the horde finds you, they all just kind of like radio the position and start coming over. Kind of annoying. It'd be nice if you could take a few of them at a time. Okay, can I fill up the car? Yeah, there we go. I can see the gasoline. Oh, the vehicle's condition is absolute garbage. It's like I'm one health. Okay, let's see if we can find something in the van. Nothing. Okay. Well, at least we can use the car to get back. We just got to be incredibly careful. So avoid everything. No wonder it's so slow. So if every car has different storages, maybe this has... This seems like a little better car if we get it fixed up than our other one, at least in terms of capacity. Okay, the old man's house is here. What do we have for capacity in the trunk? Twelve. Okay, so we could store... Okay, so apparently I can store 32 and a 12. Okay. But we can't store the 33 bullets. Okay. Too many. 22, 22 is less than 12, but 33 is over. Game logic, guys. Gamer logic. Okay, we gotta get into this guy's house. Thank God we brought lockpicks. Dude, if we didn't bring a lockpick, we would have been screwed at this point. We wouldn't have been able to get into the pharmacy, even though we gave we were given a key. And we wouldn't be able to get into this guy. You've got to be kidding me. The durability of the lockpick? Mother... you got to be kidding me. Wait, how'd I, how'd I get out of here? Is there a hole in the fence somewhere? I don't remember. Oh, we went up here. And now there's a billion zombies. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. I like the concept of this, but... And it is just a demo, so it's not gonna be perfect. Great, now we have fast runners on us. Wonderful. So yeah, tiredness, hunger, and all that are not going down. We can put uh, 22 ri um, shotgun rounds into the uh, trunk, but no can do on the actual rifle rounds. But I know how the demo would be, right? Like, once we do this job for the pharmacist and once we do this job for the old man, let's just say the job for the old man was done. Once we do those jobs, we would have enough trust to then go to Glenn and be like, all right, you're all right. And then, you know, we, get a, we give him 100 bullets and then he just lets us go to the other side of the river. All right, so our camp is actually at the sawmill. Oh, wait. Is the main road to the right, or is it this road? Nope, it's this road. I want to see some brute zombies, though, and dogs, and, like, maybe a creepy mutation. I also like the amount of weapons in this game, but, like, what's the point of a crossbow when all the zombies know where you are once you enter the area? Like, once you go into the hospital, they all kind of just slowly move towards you. Or, like, you know, once, once you enter a giant room, even if there's a lot of cover, they just start moving down the halls and come right to you. So it's like, okay, well, one, I don't really want to use a gun unless it's buckshot. No, not even that, because I could just trade ammo for a lot of money. Besides, if we upgrade our car and stuff here, aren't we just going to go to uh, another place? Now, there's a place in the north that was just opened up, too, but it looks like there's a kind of a wall around us. So, like, for example, when we deliver that stuff, I don't think we'd be able to go there either. Can we sell stuff to this guy? Can I ask the merchant for service overnight? Oh, okay. Yeah, no possible way you can repair, get the car repaired with that guy standing there at nighttime. Like, what kind of scam is that? Oh, didn't we have, uh, ammo? Gotta get the ammo. Alright, well, definitely like the concept of this game, but I can already tell you there's some things that are gonna need work. Zombie AI should be reactive to if they can hear or see you, like with direct eye contact. The missions are cool though, and all the artwork and the and the guns and stuff are really neat too. All right, so all we need is a hundred. So we could probably get a hundred if we sell, since we don't have to eat anymore. I, I we might actually have to once once we sleep. Oh wait, we don't have to ever sleep again because yes, we're invincible. So let's get the hundred. Cool. Now all we have to do is get the trust. So what is our camp trust at? Is there a way to tell? Um, can't click the camp. Your position, survivor camp, your vehicle quests. Um, all right. Well, let's just go ahead and say we got Mel Martha's uh, photo. Uh, roadworks was completed. 
and fast delivery service was completed. So we just got to turn in the pharmacy. And as for Martha, I mean, you know, you should have gave me a key, bro. Wait, uh, pharmacist is here. I uh, hope it wasn't too dangerous. Thank you for your help. The other day, past the supermarket, heard people calling from help from the roof, but I had to get back to camp. You should go and see. Wow. Now you want me to go to the supermarket? Actually, that's not even... That's not even a quest now. Okay. So, I guess the only remaining goals are to... Uh, unless we have to find it. I think the supermarket... We passed that, didn't we? Isn't that, like, right here by the gas station? Or something. I don't know. Alright, well, we got the money we need... We just don't have the trust, and the quests just don't seem to be popping up. I do like the fact that we have a med kit, though. That's helpful. Now, do the bullets actually... Wait a minute. Oh, dude, wait a minute. Carrying around money is literally weight as well. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. And we can't go to the merchant at night? My goodness. Okay. Let's see what we can do in the, our remaining time. Uh, let's see. We could go back to Glen. Um, I don't think I have enough time to actually... With the time remaining in this demo, I don't think we have enough time to even... Where's our other car? Oh, it doesn't even mark our other car? Oh yeah, we left it at the freight station. And there's some goods in there. Oh, thank God it's daytime. Well, we could go back to the freight station and see if we can grab some stuff out of the trunk. Get wrecked, zombies. Oh, there's a there's a mutator right there. That must be one of those uh, nighttime red-eye glows. Still slow, though. All right, this is definitely a game to keep an eye on for sure. But I think they need to uh, chill a little bit on the hunger and the, and the thirst and it damaging you while you still have, like, maybe 10%. Like, that's like saying you're, you're starving, but you're, like, you had something to eat. It's You're still hungry, but... It's not, that's not the same, I think. Okay, let's go find the car. Okay, good. The car is still here. All right, so you got to remember, it only marks your last vehicle, not your, like, starting vehicle. Um, okay, we got, wow, bullets for rifles. Damn, dude, we had a ton of money and stuff in here. Well, let's go pimp out the vehicle. I think the quests are going to be glitched, given the fact that we can't go to the supermarket. But let's try to go back and get our vehicle upgraded. Oh, wait. We might need level 2 truss, but I don't know how to check that. Careful. Okay, apparently the zombies are ignoring the car. And now we're high centered on a rock. Awesome. What? I saw that rock, but it looked very small. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. So the car is stuck on a rock that's peeking out of the ground. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna need to take roads. I wonder if I, if I walk away from the car and then come back, does it reset? No. Wow. Some people feverishly writing up their comments right now. You should have. Why didn't you? You should have. <laughs> I should have known when I didn't know before I knew it. That's what I should have did. I don't know if we would have made it up that hill anyway. Well, actually, this isn't that bad. We can just bring our stuff back and forth and get a bunch of money. All right, let's go in here and see if we can trade. We got a bunch of cash, so if we need more money, we can just go to the car. It's not that big of a deal. We'll upgrade this car instead. So let's see. A complete rehaul of the car. We have to be level 2 trust. Wait, we don't even have a le Oh, wait. Do we have to be a certain level with you? Oh, this is cool. We can actually, like, paint the car. Oh, cool. Let's have a death, death taxi right now. Cool. There, that's our new yellow car. So we can add rockets. We can add a bunch of armor. Trust level 1, though. So, like, how do I know my trust level? I did a few quests. Is there, like, a way to tell? Uh, oh, it's with each person. No, 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 this is our skills. Never mind, I thought it was... Okay. So there's... 
is is there a way to tell they trust with the camp? I don't know. Ah, well. I think we're out of time here, though, given the fact that the demo is so limited. But I do like what I saw here. There needs to be some improvements and some refinement. But hopefully the demo allows some people to give some feedback saying, hey, thirst and hunger might be a little too tight. The zombies should be a little more chill. And uh, there needs to be a little bit more to help the player know, like, what they're at for trust level-wise. And, um, you know, like, if we're going to have to carry around bullets, I hope this doesn't cost anything towards our storage. And if so, um, putting it in the back of a trunk... You know, it's a cool thing, but you can't split. So it's like, okay, 111 is obviously more than 12, but like you can't put it in storage. So you're going to... It's, it's like you, you want to carry items around with you. So it's like, with the 111 bullets we have, go buy an item. But the item might be too heavy, so keep it in the trunk. So like right now, we could go buy a sweet weapon, but we need to also get trust levels. So I could go and buy like a shotgun. Oh, no, I can't because I got to be a trust level one. Don't, didn't I get trust for delivering... Uh, like I did the pill mission, I did the uh, the the blockage mission, and I did the supply mission, but still, oh well. I don't know. Anyway, I like what I see here. I mean, it's got potential, and I'd like to see more. If you guys would like to see more too, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, and of course subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all next time. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and I'll see you all next time for more. Now, while we're here, let's go see how, how it is to die, what happens. What's it like dying? Oh no. Oh. Oh, we're, in, we're engaged in combat. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Come on, kill me. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, no, we died, guys. Oh, no. Oh. What? That's it? No save? Main menu? Oh. Oh, I only had 10 minutes. Whew. That was a close one.